Modernized professional licensing in Illinois passed, and now healthcare workers across the state could find it easier to receive their license, and hopefully backlogging can be reduced. Here to speak with me today about the bill that could bring much-needed medical relief is State Representative Maurice West. Hi, Maurice. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm good. Thanks so much for being out here with us today and Thanks really talking about me. this. Let's start with the modernized professional licensing in Illinois. I yeah. know it's recently passed, but why the fight you know, to get it passed? What is the importance behind it? Well, at the end of the day, it comes down to continuity of care. A lot of our health care workers, especially in our area, were reaching out to my office, but throughout the state, reaching out to legislators everywhere, um, talking about when, when it was time to renew their license, there was a backlog and a months-long uh, span of time before they were able to do it. And that meant that they weren't able to practice, they weren't able to serve. Um, and so we were having to always call in, into the agency to figure out what we can do. With this legislation, it brings the whole system into the 21st century, if you will. We needed a new software, um, but, and, and also it allows uh, the continuity of care to keep going because it's quicker, um, it's, it's electronic. Mm -hmm. uh, it just brings, it updates the software and the system so that our healthcare workers and our essential workers can keep doing their jobs. And so, you know, moving forward, how can we help clear, you know, that backlog that's designated to those people? I truly feel that this bill will help with that. Um, not only will it help with uh, ensuring that the agencies have the resources they need to uh, get these renewals out, but it, it, as I said, it brings everything to the 21st century, uh, an electronic license, electronic way to pay. Um, they were sending in checks or mailing it in and waiting with snail mail. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not in that, se in that season anymore. Um, so I really feel that once uh, the agency is able to get this software in place, yeah. that backlog will uh, start to go down. Yeah, it seems like it's something that um, is really going to help, especially the timeliness of everything. But you recently just made an announcement. So yeah. what was that announcement exactly? I was telling the people of Rockford and the Rockford region that I was running for re-election at the 67th District State Rep. Um, going into my fourth term and, you know, why do I want to announce it? Well, it's because I'm still excited. Mm -hmm. I'm still excited to serve the people. I still love the people that I'm representing. And I wanted to let them know all the good things we were doing and what else we can do together as, mm -hmm. a, as a district. And, you know, I guess why would someone choose you as a representative? What makes you a solid representative candidate? It comes down to the outputs. It comes down to what I'm able to bring from Springfield back to Rockford. And we are at around $30 million that has come back to the Rockford region um, through, uh, from Springfield uh, during the General Assembly. And so th that uh, experience, those relationships I was able to build down there, but more importantly, the relationships I was able to build up here. Um, I would like to keep those uh, genuine relationships going, um, and I'm looking forward to, keep, uh, to serve for the next two years. So I'm, if they allow me, I'll keep doing it. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us on yeah. this bill, and congratulations and good luck in your campaign run and with everything. Thank you for all that you do, too. Thank you so much.